Hello, today let's solve the coverage available IT for 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 very much 2003 uh, graphic design task. I'm using Quadro for this task. So in the Quadro graphic uh, software. Let's create a folder named examination. You must save all your work in this folder. Copy all the source files you've given to that particular folder. And then do not delete these files when you're submitting. So let's go to the task itself. Uh, you have to create an accurate copy of this spaceship. So create a copy of this spaceship. Make sure you match the provisions and details very closely. The rulers and guidelines should adjust for information only. They're not, you don't have to include them. That's all right. Just match the proportions and details very closely as closely as possible and save it as so let's do this uh, first of all. Now uh, to draw this we use uh, the over sorry the ellipse to ellipse to this right so the two the two And then right click and convert this shape to curve or you click here uh, shape here it's a button here for that so uh, then double click on it after you convert the curve so that we can uh, see this point double click on it to remove that and then we're going to have the node here we have added the node here convert that node to a sharp the sharp right you know with the sharp uh, edges like this you see this particular has something like an angle but to do that we use this cost the cost board create the sharp angle in the cup by converting the node to cost so i click on that I select this node i click on this to convert that to a cost and i use this to see that So, uh, you just bend this one. So, just it to how you want it to look. Oh, no. Okay, now click on your picture to drop once you're done with that. And then uh, we're going to create this side, right? So, do that. Click on the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle here like this. Okay, select both of them together. And click on this trim tool. We're going to use the return to trim that part of the shape. So we delete the return without doing it again. So we have this. Now, the next thing we're going to do is uh, to fill inside with this, this gray color. Let's see if the color that matches that gray color.
can see the outline also is a cheek border, cheek outline. So I'll use that. So Now we're going to duplicate this outside ship. We're going to duplicate that. Right, uh, we duplicate this control D. Right. be on top of each other like that and they will drag this one inside the bit. Sorry. So the kids or you copy just to the kids and then uh, there's one I duplicated on top like that will be on top of each other. You can just copy and paste on top. I'm going to the upper one I'll drag it inside the bed. Okay, I do not need the outline for the inside one, so I'm going to remove the outline for that. Interactive field tool for this one to show useful for a color that is actually Now we need to remove the outline for this, we don't need the outline for this, so I'm going to right click on this uh, and remove this outline for that. Inside a bit, which you are not getting to. So, I will click on it and drag it a bit to form the. That's something as close to what you want there. Yes. I will click also this with the arrow keys to move it up a bit gradually so that Send that gradually.
I leave this like that and then for the next thing is to draw this with the line across like that so draw a line this is your uh, another line too with the two point line you can Draw a line across. Increase the thickness of the line to match the thickness that you are using there. Then we're going to use the uh, smart field tool to color that part in the Colors is like too dark, so I'm going to look for something lighter. Just like that. I just to look the way you want. Then uh so after that comes just a bit. Okay, so we draw this uh, gray line, it is a process. So quick. We still are across that and change the outline to match the outline of the other ones. Look at this. I should go down a bit. Okay. Now 
Pablo Lotes. Me lo sé. Yo espero que se quede en el y bueno, ¿eh? So we can get this just uh, copy and we paste right on top. Then we press the shop control key and we drag down inside the page. The outline for the both of them. Well let me do the outline for that before I copy and paste. Let me change outline. Copy and then paste on top and then press on your shape key. I see the fill color of the inside one is uh, a brownish color, no? The outside one. Brownish color. The inside one is blue. So like uh, a light blue color. Let's look, I get something lighter. And that's okay. That's uh. Then draw these lines. There's this line like this. So this is a spread part. It's a rectangle too for that. A button cuff, you click. Just a part like that, so we like that. change the outline thickness change the red red color You wait to like maybe eight millimeters. This is seven. Let's 
draw a short line in between them. touch so we can draw another line here keep it change the thickness of this also to match the thickness of the Then, or oh, see this, this, let's draw that. I'm going to use a polyline tool for that. So, click with your finger. Drop the two and click on it. We're going to put those two dots inside the inside it to use a ability to create that. They have to be very small. So we'll fill it with a black color. There are five of it here. Five of them. Yeah. So the kids make it faster. And then we need to fight them. Yeah. This. No 
we're going to make some of them to the converse model. And then for this, it's smaller than the other one. So uh, I'm going to take this to like 1.5 km. Okay, Three, yeah? I'm going to just copy three from here also. Now we need to change the, the size of each other. We should use a uh, 1.5 or 1.5. Yeah, we should do the same thing for this. 1.5. So now let's do this wing, this one. Okay, so create this wing. To do that, we use uh, the polyline tool. Now, before I use the polyline tool, let me use a uh, Me, I'm doing this. I'm going to draw this now uh, in my very light tool. This. This. The direction. Click. Click. Direction, I don't know. I'm 
kita perlu nyusun itu sendiri. Ini baru kis. So we can now change it, right, I do that, and then use the color. In the fill color, you have to use the fill color for this because we use the lines to form it. So we use the fill color, interactions, and you use the smart fill color, I have to use smart fill for that because Then, uh, next thing is what? To finish it up, by doing this white, this uh, inside this. This now, draw a circle, circular shape. Same this for us, not a perfect circle, just something like an oval shape. And then we can get it and arrange it like this on top of each other. So then both of them together like this. I use your train to the straight ship from the two areas which of them were like this. So. Right. For 
British ship. So what happened? So fill this with your white color. Also change the outline to to white. Fill left click. Outline right click on the color also. And now we're going to use the transparency to to reveal. Because we can see that the part, the, uh, the blue color below this is very revealed. Through this. So we're going to reveal that. Uh, so we're going to adjust. Let's adjust a bit. And then, uh, yeah, I think we're done with this part. And then it's what you're saying, you save this, save the image as SVG file and named Flame. Right? No, this is not Flame, the first one is uh, this one. Save this as Spaceship, rather, Spaceship, and that's called the center number, and that's called the calendar number. This is a spaceship and it is a spaceship. Uh, Similar as SVG, also advise and copy as PNG because of the animation task. Okay, I'm going to select everything I've done so far. File, uh, export. And, uh, select where you're going to save it. SVG Spaceship You must call your center number You must call your candidate number I'll save under copy as PNG Just for the animation Because I prefer that So that was that. Now, the minute this part, three. Let's create a frame uh, something. Okay, so to create the, the flame, let's insert a new page from here, plus sign. Let me pitch and then uh, let's bring uh, the guideline. Okay, 
Some rather small matches. We use we use uh, the what do they call it the polyline sheet to that. Yeah. All right, let's take that again. This is a full line to draw the look like this. Still we join them together, but click here. Now we're going to convert this to a curve. Okay, that's if you click on this one, convert to a curve.
Now we can you see the color there is uh, like an orange color. Change that like first to This is an orange color. And if you take that, get the inner one, which is the one inside. Okay, this. This is a Lighter color, let's look for the lighter color. My color has to be the same. color. Okay, we have another one inside which is here. Okay. Put that together. Then bring it to the first page here. But before we bring it to the first page, let's uh, let's save it according to the instruction. Save it. According to the instruction, I say save it as flame. Just call center number and just call candidate number. So, spot SVG. Let's call 
So, see the copy as a change in just a case of my image for animation. is combine the two images combine the two images to create a copy of these images like this we're going to bring that to the second page Together now. The next put it together and then say save us rocket. Let's call enter number and let's call enter number. So that's NVG also. Go here, let's pop. Let's save us NVG. Without the end of the graphic, you don't have pretty time wasting or make some time. But if you know how to manage your time properly, you uh, should finish your time. If you have any other question, you should always look at the simplest question first. Solve it before you go to the one that will waste your time. So, you might know how to do this. 